Okay, this one comes from Ashling from Long Island. Long Island. Hi, Ashling. Being nice in general. Big hi. Because there are all of maybe three Ashlings on Long Island, so they can. Well, do don't, give to. <laughs> don't, don't give her away. Don't give her away. Um, explain how emotions. Oh yes, sorry. Let's do this again. Explain how emotions work in spell casting. For example, never go to your altar angry. Yeah, I, I think we have other questions that have spoken to emotions in general as the element of water in, in spell work. But I love that she added on to that question, for example, never go to your altar angry. Which is probably the most important emotion not to bring to your altar, I would think. Well, because that's what we need to talk about okay. anger. Anger is not in and of itself a negative emotion. In fact, no emotion is essentially positive or negative. It's a spectrum of empowerment or disempowerment. Okay. Okay. So let's go to the very bottom of the scale. Depression. Depression. And I'm not talking having a bad day depression. I'm talking about you can't move, you can't get out of bed, suicidal thoughts. That's probably what we would consider and colloquially, colloquially say I have hit bottom. Thank you. Proper Little copper, applause when you're... Proper copper coffee pot. Got to keep those tongue twisters to keep the tongue free. So... Depression, it's almost impossible to cast. The best I can do when I am that sort of depressed, which doesn't happen that much, thank God, I need some wood to knock, but we're kind There's of- There's Bay behind you. Hello. Um, the best that I can do, even when I'm in that place, is pray, oh God, kill me. So we, Save me, help me. So really, when someone is that depressed, instead of going to the altar to do work, the best way is to prayer? Well, every thought is a prayer, every word is a spell. It's really hard to live by that truth, but it's a truth nonetheless. So I think when we are depressed, we need to ask for help, and that help starts on the inside anyway. Mm -hmm. So yes, I, I would certainly recommend prayer. I mean, I know when I'm depressed, I can't even think, what candle color should I use? I don't care. I'd rather burn the house down. Which, I live in a wood house, not a good idea. So, let's move up the scale a little bit from depression, anger. When you're angry, at least you're ready to kill. Well, there's burning your house down. <laughs> at least you're in a place of more empowerment. Well, there's, there's extreme emotion there. I mean, depression is emotion, but it's, it's sort of like the lack of emotion, a lack of feeling. It's the real basement floor. And, of and the house. Anger seems like it's on the opposite end of the spectrum. Well, it's not at the opposite. I would say it's about maybe a quarter of the way through. Because I would much rather, given the choice between anger or depression, be angry. Because anger is a bridge. You just don't live on a bridge. And a motivator. It, it gets you up. It gets energy moving through you. Granted, not the highest vibrational energy, but certainly the magic, the prayer, that you do when you are depressed is radically different than when you're angry. Depression may be kill me, anger could be kill them. At least it's moving in the right direction, but it's not the end of the journey. So I try not to cast when I'm depressed specifically. I try not to cast when I'm angry. Well, because of my background and my training in Celtic magic and dealing with the Morgan who was my patron goddess for six years, which is tricky and that's why you know transformation again well transformation but it's also I learned a lot about retribution which there are ways to do retributive magic that don't come back in a negative way um, like for instance dealing with thieves dealing with murderers you know what I mean the, the, the Morgan say what you want she's a warrior goddess but she's a mother and she protects her children moving on from that you don't stop at anger you perhaps use anger wisely to get you up, get you out of bed. And what's funny is, is that the people around you would rather you be depressed. Because now suddenly you're snapping their heads off, but somebody in the know, someone who is wise, will go, well, better you be angry with some fire in you than dead on the floor in depression. That's a direction moving you towards the empowered well, side of the so emotional somebody else, well, <laughs> well, but that's the thing. <laughs> that's Obviously, the if, you're, if you're working with wisdom, you try not to hex and curse from that place. But then, moving up the scale, you could get to disappointment. You, know, you don't really want to cast from a vibration of disappointment, 
but if you had the choice between disappointment or anger, which would you take? Which feels better? Anger. Well, anger feels a little bit more fiery, but if you're moving towards a better feeling place, Disappointment could come from humility, which, which would tones it down a little bit. And it's a little bit higher. A little bit higher. How about frustration? If you had the choice between frustration or anger? For me, that probably... I don't know. I'd still go with anger over really? frustration. Because frustra if we're looking at a scale from empowered to disempowered, frustration is much more empowered than anger. Because frustration to me, though anger can be chaotic, it, it is directed. Frustration to me, energetically, visually, seems chaotic, where every, you're not focused, so there's a lot of elements. It might be lighter, but just it seems like there's a lot of stuff spinning around. I know that when I'm dealing with my life, and of course this scale is different for everybody, but if I have the choice of how I want to go through my day, if it really is a choice between being really angry or being frustrated, I know that anger can bring back to me car accidents. And frustration can bring back to me, oh, I forgot to plug it in. For me, anger is easier. If, if I'm angry, it's easier for me to recognize the anger where, and, and to release that anger. We're to talking move about now living in your life and casting. I would rather be launching vibrations from a place of frustration than from anger. Right, right. Because I'm moving up a scale. Now, how about boredom? If you would rather be bored or frustrated, which feels better? Honey, frustrated. Honey, bored for me, hands down. Because I know if I stay in frustration, I'm attracting, no matter what spell I cast, if I'm casting from a place of frustration, it's going to come back in a frustrating way. Remember, the emotion is the engine, but, not the caboose. But frustration for me means there's, I'm not getting it, which means if I keep working something that I'm, and I know you're talking about spell casting, but looking at the emotion, if I'm frustrated, that means there is an answer somewhere. If I'm bored, it means I'm not working on anything. But at least for me, okay. bored <laughs> is the fulcrum of the seesaw. Right. Everything below bored is to me on a scale downwards towards real disempowerment. Everything on the upside of bored is moving me towards empowerment therefore higher vibration, therefore faster vibration. I understand okay. what you're saying, but you're okay. asking me the question and, and I'm responding so now, how I process. Let me ask you this, what would you rather feel, bored or content? Oh, I'd rather feel content. See, now once we get to that other side of bored, it gets really fast.